Hello there everyone, this is Dan once again for TGN Let's Play and we are bringing you another walkthrough for Hitman Blood Money. This level is called the House of Cards and hopefully I'll be able to show you how to get a silent assassin rating. Um, this is one of my favourite levels and as soon as you go in you need to go and speak to this woman. The name is in which she will give you Let's a see. key card. There it is. You, you can only use it to get into certain rooms. So um. The beginning is a little bit awkward as you try and kill the first two people, but it gets really interesting towards the end. So what you want to do is you want to go up here into this lift, and then you want to wait for it to come down. So it's nice and easy. Uh, you've got absolutely no chance at getting caught at these the first two kills. The the last one takes a little bit of messing, but you need to go in, wait for the doors to close, and then you want to climb the hatch, like so. Remarkable. And then now, pretty much all we have to do is wait for this other guy to come round. Which, I think this is him now. It is. So, all you have to do is pretty much wait for him to uh, come into this lift. And then, I'm pretty sure you can imagine what we have to do to get him. So, it's nice and easy. But, uh, I hope he's all okay. Um, the last couple of missions have been a little bit crazy. And, it's been pretty hard to actually... Um, talk as I've been doing it because I've been doing them in, in like post-production so it's been a little bit of a pain to be honest but I'm happy I'm happy that uh, we're going to be doing this and this is possibly as I say probably my favorite level on the game and this is the quickest and easiest way to do it believe me so uh, I'm just going to let you know that I'm going to be doing uh, the game syndicate that's what I'm going to be doing next for TGN, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I played the demo, and I am looking forward to doing it. I didn't play the early game, though, like the original, so I'm going to have to probably pull, do my research and play that before I start. So, when this guy walks in, as you will see momentarily, got to give it a little bit to see whether the door's shut, and then you go. Does he drop his briefcase, or... So, you want to get his room key, and drop down into the lift, pick up his briefcase if you wish, and then you want to go all the way back down to the lobby. Do that, no, lobby. Yeah, um, it's a little bit of a pain. I think this, uh, sorry, I think this is, um, it's another, you know, like, reward briefcase, you know, if you're ends you get more money. It's not a necessity to actually do it. So what you want to do is when you come out of this lift, go into the next one and do exactly the same thing. And this is where you have to wait. Unfortunately, this is the the longest bit on the game. Because we have to wait for the next guy to go. So we're pretty much just going to be waiting in this lift. So I'm going to cut it just because I think it'll be a little bit pointless years just watching this. So um, I will be back when the guy enters the casino. Right, so here we are, um, we just skipped like two, three minutes and the next guy has entered from the casino coming back into the lobby and I do believe that we are waiting for the Sheikh to arrive, I think he's going to be in this car, he's the last guy that we need to get. Uh, is this him? Come on, yeah, so there's the Sheikh and the next guy should be, uh, should be entering our lift any time now. Let's just see. Come on. There he is. So again, wait for the doors to close. Give him a cheeky little strangle. And then you drag him up into the lift with you. And what you want to do is actually take his um, his cost costume. I don't want to say costume. His clothes. And it kind of gets us into the next area, which is what we want. Take his key card as well. And I think... I think I need to take this briefcase for some reason. Yeah. So where we want to go now is back. No. No. Back it in. Just open the door. There we go. So you go through here and then you follow it all the way down. Am I on the right floor? Yes. So you want to go into room 703, I believe. There are two 
rooms that you need to go into. One of them calls the. Um... Oh yeah, this is the complete wrong room. I'm pretty sure it is. So uh, this woman tries to get into your genos. Yeah, I'm in the complete wrong room. Hey there, stud. You're not alone, are ya? I'm unaccompanied, if that's what you mean. Whoa! I can change that. I'm Anaka. Uh, I'm alone in Suite 703. Myself. Come up and see me sometime. Okay. There is a reason why you want to be into this room. I can't remember whether it's if you go on the, the way to Sniper. Uh, if you want to use the Sniper to kill the Sheikh, you can do it that way. Uh, I'm not too sure, but we'll follow her in to see, like, what the hell's going on. So, she'll start grinding and doing all kinds there. Yeah, I think you can snipe from that, from that window. Right there. Let's see what was just in this other room. Because there's a room with the, uh, the phone, there's a phone in it, that you use to ring the shake to get him outside, and I think that's in the room downstairs, so... Just make sure that there's nothing here, which there isn't. So let's leave. Whoa, who's that guy? <laughs> so yeah, we want to go to the floor below where we are now to get into that room. So if we just head back to the lifts, which I am lost. Oh, we can, can't we? I think in room 707 is where you get, you know, the guy... The card that you got off this guy. I think there's a, a briefcase in there that you can get which does something. Let me go and have a look. I'm pretty sure there is. But yeah, we're looking forward to the next uh, the next two missions. There's only two left. Uh, the Heaven and Hell party and the... Yeah, there's a thing in here. And the White House level, which is going to be pretty fun, I'd imagine. I'm going to have to use weapons at some point, unfortunately. So, um Hopefully that doesn't change anything. It's kind of because you'd have to use weapons, really. I've gone the... Which way am I going? Ah, uh, what am I doing? Here we go. Down here. Yeah, I want to uh, just draw your attention to a couple of other things that's going on on the channel as well at the minute. Um, we've got an Alan Wake um, walkthrough of, like, you know, of the new Alan Wake coming out on PC with the new DLC. Uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend going to check that out. And we've got a new channel background and stuff like that. So it might be worth you going to uh, check that out, see some of the featured directors and, you know, subscribe and go on to have a look and see some of the stuff that they're doing. It's pretty darn good. So this is where the mission kind of gets a little bit more fun because we need to pull a fire alarm to get everyone out of that other room. So what you want to do is just push this fire alarm. Everything gets a little bit noisy. And then if you move through, they should have left that room, that one accompanied. So, nice and easy, you run in. And don't put a mine in the briefcase, because that's silly. So you want to move through, move through into this side room. Is it in the side room, or didn't it? It's in the side room. And then there's a phone. So just push the button on that phone. And now we have to go and get the shake. So, uh, this bit can be a bit tricky. There's multiple ways that you can do this bit. It's whether you want to snipe them from the room above or below. I can't remember which room we were in. I think it's the room above. And, um, oh. Get back in the lift and go all the way back down to the lobby. But I'm going to uh, obviously not use any weapons. I'm going to go out of mano a mano. And, um,. Well, I say mano a mano, I'm going to use my uh, fiber wire, probably. So, I, the thing that I've learnt on this game, though, to be honest, is um, that to get a silent assassin rating doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be act they have to be accidents, and I thought they were. So, that's pretty good, because most of my kills have been fiber wire kills. Um, just a little hint, you want to stay to the far right in this area. It's just because there's uh, security cameras about, and if you get caught on a security camera, it makes this the end of this game a hell of a lot more hard. So you want to move through. Let's just 
and you want to go all the way down here, I don't think there's any security cameras here. Let's see. Nope. I'll move around this side. I know there's one side in which there are security cameras and the other sides which there aren't. So we go through here. This is why it's good to have no weapons because you will get saved. Come on. Thanks. You're all set. You're welcome. Right. You want to run all the way through. And then he should be probably on his way back. Yeah, there he is. You just play it cool. Get out thine fiber wire. And give him the business. So that's it. That's mission done. Uh, you, you are going to have to be a little bit more careful leaving because, as I mentioned, the security cameras. But if you follow the route that I'm going to take, we should be okay. You pretty much just want to follow the way you went back, but we're going to have to be a little bit quicker because I've kind of left the shake in a very silly place. See where the exit is? Uh, there, bottom left. So yeah, um, we're going to have to try and be a little bit quicker here. Hopefully don't be... Move, dancer! Hopefully we're not going to be uh, too brash. If you move all the way around and stick to the left, you are going to see the security camera. It's, it's in that corner there. So if you just wait to see which way it faces, then you should be able to sneak. Oh, should be able to sneak underneath it. Stop putting a mine in the briefcase. You open that and run through. Nice and easy. Move into the back and then you are done. Um, I just want to quickly thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That's how you do it. Uh, a couple of little messes, but we'll be all right. Um, the next mission... Is going to be Dance with the Devil. I'll see you then.